Get up, twerp. Cousin Bill? No, it's the Beavs. Your mommy wants you to go to school. Did you just throw ham at my face? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Bill is back in town. Oh, yeah. possible time he could inflict himself into my sorry life. With junior year finally on my plate, I so did not need him to creep up on me like this. Why are these jeans so tight? Okay, what is going on? How do you mean, Ellie? You know what I mean. Why is he here? To save your soul. Shut up. Ellie, why are you being so hostile? Sit down. He'll be staying with us for a little while. That's all. Why? Don't you have college? Bill's not going to school right now. <laughs> what? What'd you get yourself into this time? Your mom. Sorry. What about his family? They aren't happy with the decisions he's made. And we are his family. Thank God you handled that one, honey. Yeah, thanks, honey. Carl's here. Who's Carl, your star-crossed lover? Mm. He's gay, Bill. What? You know you're chasing a car that's chasing other cars, right? Oh. Have a great first day, honey. Wait! Aren't you gonna give me a kiss goodbye? Oh my god. <sighs> Women. Hello, beautiful. Ready for rigor? Hardly. My cousin Bill's in town. Who's Bill? Uh, oh, you mean the annoying cousin Bill. <sighs> no, I mean the nice, caring one. <laughs> He's already got your panties in a bundle. Yeah, well, get used to it. Do you know what he did this morning? He threw a piece of... Um... <laughs> oh, look at you. In love already, and with Richard Gauntley. You know his name? Of course I do. I had math them last year. I see where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, well, he's neither of ours. Every time I've seen him this summer, he's with this girl. Hmm. Oh. Go! Go, God damn it! What are you waiting for? So I'm gonna run you up. Oh no. I'm so ecstatic to run oh, into you here. God. I feel so titillated. No. Do you feel it too, Carl? No. I want oh. you right now. No, oh, I go away, you crazy stalker. I'm not a stalker, Carl. To be a stalker, you have to be weird. And I'm not weird. Do I look weird to you, Carl? I'm gay, you crazy bitch. You'll never be gay to me, Carl. <sighs> you gotta go, Carl. I love you more than love itself. Not mutual. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Junior year starts right now. Ready? Set. Go. Karma. <sighs> Allie. Jessica. <sighs> Jessica. Nice to see you. You too. Well, maybe you'll get a GPA above 4.3 this year. Hmm, yeah, and maybe you'll get a friend. <laughs> maybe he won't be gay. <laughs> At least I can get a guy. <laughs> oh, Allie? Allie! Another oh. thing I should tell you about Carl. He has a bit Allie. of an inner ear problem. It's no big deal, really, but when it kicks in, it really kicks in.
doing it wrong. Hey, everybody, this girl thinks that she can do the problem better than Lexi with three X's. Really, Miss Pollitt? Right. Uh, well, first off, <clears throat> um, Lexi, with three X's, right. Um, well, you shouldn't be doing synthetic division because it's a trinomial. In, I mean, you shouldn't be dividing it at all, really. Instead, you should be trying to find the real and non-real solution, which means you've completely neglected a crucial step. And really, when you figure it all out, there's only one solution, but you found two, which means there's an algebraic mistake in there somewhere. This girl's a freak. Empty locker? Did I not have a locker for me this year? Oh god. This isn't... No. God, no. Look, I'm East 287, so this is my locker, but... not yours. So I'd appreciate it if you would get your stuff out right now. But I'm East 287. This was supposed to be my locker. Well, then you're just going to have to do something about your little problem, then, aren't you? Okay, that'll be three dollars. Uh, two forty-five if you grab a granola. What's the holdup? Come on, we're waiting over here. Just a second. Jeez. Hey, look at we're losing customers. You better hurry it up. What's up with this bra? Does she have a rash on her hip or something? There. I don't have a rash. I just have really tight jeans on. Okay. Hey, I'm not an ATM. Come on, get it out yourself, kid. If I don't get my food, I will do sick things. I will go crazy. I am a sick man. Hey, you better hurry. I'm trying. Come on. That's it. I'm leaving. Where are you even going to go? I have a car. Mm. Hey, everybody, how about... Mickey D's on me! Yeah. Hey, come on, I got mouths to pee. Let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm trying. We want food. Make her leave. We want food. Make her leave. We want food. Come on! Make her leave. That's it, get out, take your dirty money and go. Let's, let's go. Let's go, lunch lady. Let's, let's go, lunch lady. Go, lunch lady. really sucks too. On top of your idiot cousin moving in with you, being locker partners with your worst enemy and having the whole school root for you to drop your lunch and wallet in the food lunch line. Not being able to find your best friend when everybody else is having fun with theirs. I'm telling you man, this party is going to be so much fun tonight. What you boys would call drinking sex and rock and roll. But in all seriousness, there's going to be tons of single ladies there. Uh huh. No, Danny, I'm pretty sure it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yes, that's how it goes. You see, I knew something sounded weird. What's the difference? They're both equally convincing. Well, that, my friend, is an opinion. Michael, you're an idiot. Listen, Richie, you need to get over Cindy, and this party is the way to do it. There's going to be tons of single ladies there who would kill to be with a guy like you. Trust me, I've heard them talking. Look, I don't know if I want to go back into that. I mean, it's only been a month since Cindy broke up with me. Yeah, plus I think that would just make things worse. I mean, studies have shown that drug use and sexual activity have eventually Michael, led Michael, to... stop talking. Only a month? Only a month? How could it take you longer than a week to realize that Cindy doesn't matter? She's just an insignificant little bitch who broke your heart. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Michael, shut up, you interloping tool. Don't listen to him, Richie. The other day, he tried sticking a fork in my toaster. A fork. Okay, the waffle was stuck. Michael, stop talking. I saved your life. The least you can do is shut your sorry excuse for a mouth. I mean, really, I saved your life. If it wasn't for me, you'd be blown through my kitchen ceiling right now. So I'm asking you very nicely to please shut up. Can you do that for me, huh? Can you? Can you shut up? Look, maybe next time. The time after that and the time after that. Look, you need to get over Cindy and you need to get over now. This party is the way to do it. Here, since you can't, 
look at your phone without looking at pictures of Cindy. I'm gonna write it down for you and you're going. Uh, did anyone just see those kids that walked by like five times and Michael, took a call? Michael, shut up. So eventually Friday night came about and Carl actually convinced me to go to that stupid party on the slight chance that Richard Golly might actually show up. Carl, where are we? I think we took a wrong turn or something. Carl? Carl! What? I just thought I should let you know. If we die out here, I'm blaming you for crashing your car into the stop sign. I had a right of way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. How you doing? Shit, 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 shit. I'll cut shit. to the chase. I really need some money right now. So you can either give it to me, or I can make you give it to me. You hear? Give me my greens. Just take it, take it. Come on, let's go. No, Come on. I, I just... Come on. Go. What's your deal, lady? No games. Let's go. Do I look like I'm here to have fun? Right, let's go. I'm let's trying. Go. I can't find it in this purse. What, do you have a rash on your hip or something? Go see a doctor. Don't be asking me for help. Do I look like I got a medical degree? Go. Have fun trying to get a job at your local gas station for the rest of your life. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thank you so much. We were gonna die out there. Yeah, you would have. And it would have been really funny too if I hadn't shown up. Not gonna lie. Bill? Oh, you must be Carl, that gay kid, right? Yeah, I've heard a lot about you. Uh. Oh, he doesn't know yet? <clears throat> Listen here, uh, I'm gonna turn up the radio real quick. I know your kind doesn't really appreciate this kind of music, but it would be really nice if you would just shut up and listen. Now you're messing with her. Now you're messing with her. Now you're messing with her. Son of a bitch. So maybe Cousin Bill wasn't such a life ruiner after all. I mean, he had just saved our lives. And from some bum who could have been Bill himself if it wasn't for my family's hospitality. But maybe he was different from anyone else in his position. And maybe he wasn't the worst cousin a kid could have. Eyes on the road! Eyes on the road! If I'm saying that, you know you're a bad driver. Listen, Allie, I've been, I've been thinking. Um, I really just need to, like, look at myself and see that I'm kind of going down a bad path right now. And I, I've decided that I want to fix it. But the only way I can do that is if I get your help. Okay. Who are you, and what did you do with my cousin? No, for real. I, I told you I'm good when I'm serious. <laughs> Allie, are you even listening? Look, I, I really need your help, Allie, and I, I can't do this without you. Okay, Cousin Bill. I'll help you. Uh, okay. Don't distract the driver, Allie. Ugh, rules of the road. <laughs> This whole charade was ridiculous anyways. Who cares about the party? This was Carl's way of cheering me up and by getting the same people who practically ran me down at lunch to like me at some party. It was so illogical and stupid and Richard Gottlieb, well, there were other ways to meet him. Besides, Bill and I had to do work. Time to get up, Bill. <sighs> Ham? Why ham? Because Allie's back in town. What have I done? Damn, that's good ham. Is it honey baked? Black Forest. Take a walk with me to where you want to be. Take a walk in the park. But don't go after dark what you want to see.